Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. Tarzan and his friends are confined in the Tower of the Sun in the forbidden city of Asher. Hakeru offers to assist them to escape if Tarzan will help him recover the Father of Diamonds from Tira's quarters, where she has it concealed. Tom, who knows where the gem is hidden, re recover it with the help of Darno. As Tarzan goes to release Helen and Magra from the chamber in which they are held as sacrifices to the Heseherian god Ma'achu, Hakeru leads Tom and Darno to a secret passage by which they may reach Tira's quarters. Hakeru himself goes to bring Brian Gregory, held in the temple in a state of suspended animation, to the rendezvous, the car by which Tarzan and his friends hope to make their escape over the rim of Tuanbaka. As Tom and Darno proceed along the narrow passage to Tira's quarters, a giant king cobra with expanded hood and hissing angrily rises on its tail, barring their path. Darno, moving slowly, noiselessly, attempts to pass the reptile. The great head stops its sinister swaying, poises itself, and strikes directly at Darno's face. Tom's hand drops. His gun roars on the confines of the narrow passage. A heavy lead bullet smashes into the expanded hood of the cobra. The huge head glides harmlessly over Darno's shoulder to strike the wall behind him. Convulsively writhing and twisting, the deadly serpent drops to the floor. Tom steps quickly forward. Did, did it get you, Darno? Are you all right? Oui. Oui, Tom. It had struck the wall a hair's breadth from my face. It was a marvelous shot, mon ami. Je vous merci. Uh, it is nothing. Come, let us go on now. I only hope the noise does not bring all the guards in our share down about our ears. There may be more of those cobras here, Tom. Be careful. Uh, we have no time for caution now, Dano. Tarzan will be awaiting us with Helen Gregory and Magra at the railway. And Hakeru, if he wins through with her brother. Uh, we must move fast. There, the end of the passage. A bronze door. Tom, if we should walk into a room full of guards... <laughs> then Tarzan and the others must go on without us. Eh? But we shall do our best with those guards if they are there, eh? Vraiment. Bien. Here is the door. And may the all-seeing guide our footsteps. Eh, but we are hesitating, Dano. I am going to open the door. Allons. Good. Fortune is with us. That chamber is empty. Yes. And it is the sleeping room of our gracious Queen Tira. Quickly now. That death's head shrine over there. The father of diamonds and the golden disc are behind it. But... But it is built into the wall. How are we going to open it? The face. The face. A cavity behind the thing. Mm, if I can only remember which stone opens it... Ah, here. Now, uh, if she has not removed the... Ah, the golden disc. And hurry, Tom. Let us get the thing and mm -hmm. go. Let me. Let me. Uh, it is heavy. Heavier than I thought. Uh, I am glad you came. It, it is a load for both of us. If we can only get to the car with it. Here. You see... Lean it against the wall. So, now, close the shrine. One of those cured skins from the couch to carry it in. Get a large one. 
Harry, someone is coming. Put the disc on the bed and cover it with those furs. Feet! Mm -hmm. There, the furs now. So, leave it there. That door, Tom, through which we came. We must close it. If they find it open... Here, Tom, behind this stone seat. It will shield us. Mm. If they enter here, we are lost. Quiet. Ken, Meru, Tiran, Matu. Grasso Dieu. The guard is not coming in. Look, she is going to the shrine. To gloat over the diamond, which is no longer there. And if we show ourselves, she will call her guard. Watch. She is opening the shrine. Meanwhile, Tarzan has left his tower chamber, closed the door, and mounted a circular flight of stone steps to the upper landing. Four bronze doors confront him. One of them opens into the room in which Helen and Magra are confined. Unhesitatingly, he moves to the first. A pressure of his hand against a stone. The door swings slowly open. A quick glance reveals an empty chamber. Closing the door, he goes on to the next. It swings open to his touch. Silent, grimly motionless as a statue, the ape man stands beside the opening. Abruptly, a tall Hesiherian steps noiselessly out into the corridor. A bronze knife flashes. Quick as thought, Tarzan catches the uplifted arm. Like bands of steel, the fingers of his free hand encircle the man's throat. A long, silent moment they stand so. Then the ape man drops the strangled Hesiherian inside the room. He closes the door and steps swiftly to the third portal. It opens at his touch. Alert, ready, Tarzan stands waiting. Isn't that funny? The door opens and no one is there. Why, it looks like an invitation from heaven's knows where for us to leave. No, Helen, do not go out. It may be another trap. You're wrong this time, Magra. Tarzan! Why, why, Tarzan, how did you get there? Why, we thought you... Not so loud. There are guards in the tower. Wait, I'll close the door. But Tira said you and Paul and Atantum were to be sent to some kind of mine. And you two are to be sacrificed. I know. Hakeru told us. But we're going to no mines and you're not going to be sacrificed. We're leaving our share. Leaving our share? How, Tarzan? When? Tonight. As soon as Tom and Darno return, and Hakeru. Where have they gone? Are they free? Thanks to Hakeru, we are all free, more or less. But I do not understand. Tom and Darno have gone after the father of diamonds. Hakeru after Helen's brother. We must have the diamond to free him from that spell he is under. Hakeru told us about the pocket behind the diamond and the golden disc. Oh, I hope he will. Shh. Quiet. Someone is coming. In Tira's chamber, Tom and Darno crouch behind the great stone seat and watch as the queen, having dismissed her guards and closed the door, approaches the little death's head shrine. As she places her hand on the opening stone, Tom steps noiselessly from behind the bench, crosses the room swiftly to pause directly behind the unsuspecting Tira. As the little shrine door opens, she leans forward to peer into the empty cavity. She straightens, steps back into Atan Tom's waiting arms. <laughs> With a quick hand, he smothers her cry of amazement and fright. Softly, my queen. Do not cry out again. I shall twist that beautiful throat as quickly as... Hmm, that is better. Now, let us talk as friends, eh? Come down, all. Oui. Aton Tom. Baldano. What seek you here in the chamber of Tira? Hmm, we have already found that which we seek, O oh, gracious Tira. And this time you will not be given the opportunity to break your word. Tira hath not broken her word. You were placed in the Tower of the Sun, out of reach of the Council of Thirteen, until I could have you all conveyed out of share. Oh, very considerate of you, Tira. But your deep interest in our welfare is, uh, at the moment, somewhat embarrassing. And likewise your intention of entertaining us at your minds. 
Not to mention the little matter of sacrificing Ellen, Gregory, and Margaret. Enough. What is your wish? Nothing, my queen, from you. We have that which we came for. It remains for us only to leave you to your much-needed rest. We take with us the father of diamonds. Father of diamonds? Careful, Tom. She is planning some new deviltry. Look, ye aren't on Tom. Paul Darno. If I put ye all, men and women, safely over the rim of two and Barker, will ye... Look out, Tom. She has a knife there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, she has a knife, Paul Darno. Arati, Arek, Sirati. Hey, stop her, Tom. She is calling her... Come here. Take, take oh, the knife. Oh, oh, what the... Another such a and this knife of yours will find its sheath in your wicked heart. Take her feet down now. No, don't, don't do it. We, we put her on that couch. No? And then bind her with her own garments? Yes, yes, quickly. Her call may have aroused the guard. Oh, yeah, oh, if your guards enter here now, it will mean your death. Keep quiet. We intend you no harm. But we also intend to leave you in a position where you cannot harm us. Why, well, yes, this cloth cord, it is rusty thing for her hands and feet. Uh, and she will have to be gagged. Tie that cord tight, Dono. Maybe. Make sure of her. If she should get loose before we are out of this den of savages... Mm. Mm. So, oh, my good Tira... By the time you free yourself from those sailor's nuts Darno has chewed up with... Be uh... Now, Now, Tom, mm. hurry. The disc. Come on. Uh, open the door to the passage. I, I can manage the golden disc that far alone. Yes, yeah, but hurry. Mm. There. I'm glad you came with me. Yeah, this is much heavier than I expected. Help me through the door. Mm. Uh, so, now close it. Hello. At least we are out of that chamber. Here, let me help now. Oh, sure, but this thing is heavy as lead. And we have a long way to go. Back in the Tower of the Sun, in Helen's and Margaret's chamber, Tarzan warns the young women to silence with a quick gesture and leaps behind the door as it swings slowly open. Two Hesiherian guards advance into the room, their eyes on the women. As the ape man moves noiselessly out from his place of concealment, one of the men catches the movement from the corners of his eyes. He turns, whips out his bronze sword, shouts to his companion. Hey, Baka, show me! Hui! Hui! With his cry of warning, the guard leaps toward Tarzan.